We all know Roy Rogers as the king of the cowboys. He always smiled, sang, and played the nice guy. Roy could not hide his infectious laughter and great smile. Even after decades, he still remains the true personification of a real cowboy. He really believed in all his values. Truth, kindness, decency, and he lived that way, as near as a man could. But what hid behind his smile? His first failed marriage? The tragic death of his second wife? The loss of his only son with his third wife? How did Roy Rogers manage to find enough strength to live on? He dreamed of being famous, but not as an actor. When he was six, Roy firmly decided to become a doctor. But at the age of 17, he was forced to drop out of school and join his father in a Cincinnati shoe factory. Roy tried hard to study at night school, but the only thing he learned there was reading music. I could play the clarinet and I could play the guitar. Soon after his short and unfortunate marriage with Lucille Escalese, Roy met his second wife, Arlene Wilkins. They married in 1936 after an intimate correspondence since first meeting. Roger's career was growing. They were happy together and dreamed of a large family. Meanwhile, Arlene learned she was infertile. They reconciled and decided to adopt. Only after five years of marriage did Roy and Arlene's finances allow them to adopt a child, Cheryl Arlene. Unexpectedly, they received a gift from the universe. Arlene fell pregnant. Enlightened with a miraculous recovery, the couple decided to have another baby. But man proposes, God disposes. Unfortunately, this time, it didn't go as smooth as planned. Six days after giving birth, Arlene died of complications. Rogers felt desolated and miserable for months. Roy met his third wife on a movie set only a couple of years before the tragedy. Evan starred in 26 picture and TV series as Rogers' leading partner. Dale became a rescue for Roy after living through the loss of Arlene. Evans, in return, had been through three unhappy marriages and was blessed to find peace with Rogers. Roy is steady and dependable. I am hasty and impulsive. He is such a quiet fellow, and he has a way of taking life as it comes. When we were together, I felt balanced. They fell in love soon after Arlene's death, and Rogers proposed to Dale during a rodeo show. Dale and Roy married at the end of 1947 on a ranch. They merged their families as Dale had a son, Tom Fox, from her first marriage and lived in the San Fernando Valley. Once again, the doctors upset the Rogers family with a harsh diagnosis and discouraged their hopes for a baby. But soon after their second anniversary, Dale found out that she was having a child. Faith played hard on Roy again. Robin Elizabeth Rogers was born with mental retardation and a serious heart condition. She lived for only two years. And then she was gone, Rogers said. Again, it was like the world had ended all for us. But life goes on. It does, whether you want it to or not. God sees to that. And we went on, too. Roy Rogers always found guts to live on and enjoy his life. He indeed was a great man who always kept his chin up, even in the hardest moments. If there were no valleys of sadness and death, we could never really appreciate the sunshine of happiness on the mountaintop. Roy Rogers died just a couple of months before his 50th anniversary with Dale Evans. He left a great mark and his strong spirit continues to inspire even today. Thanks for watching. Click on the OSA icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel.